Hey friends, in this video, we will understand about Covio data retrieval. Covio provides a set of search APIs for the data retrieval purpose. In our previous video, we have indexed set of contents. So in this video, we will execute Postman queries to retrieve the indexed content. Here, what you see is the Swagger URL which provides all the APIs with respect to the Covio search. We are more interested in the search V2, wherein we'll be able to execute different queries based on get and post methods. Covio provides different ways of authentication mechanism. Now to interact with the search APIs, we have to have a JW token created for that. We need to create a search API. While creating, we have to ensure that a set of uh, permissions are given. For the analytics section, I have given the analytics data push and uh, view. And ImposNet is allowed. In case of content, I have given the access for all the sources, view all. For the organization, I have given view access. And on search, I have provided the execute queries allowed with the view all content. During save, I have received the bearer token. Now using this bearer token, I will be authenticating the search APIs through my postman. Now to execute a get search API, I'm using the search URL here. With that, a query parameter is passed. For the authentication, I'm using the bearer token. And once I click on request, I'll be getting the response as shown below. Now, same query in case if I want to execute using the post, I have to form the JSON body. Authentication, I need to provide the bearer token. And the search URL is here with the post. For the sorting, I can use a sorting criteria like data sending, query parameters here, and authentication is provided. Now, once I click on this, I'll be getting the sorted result. Similar way, we can execute any of the search API related queries through the Postman and get the response. We have seen the search APIs now. Similar way, we have multiple options to interact with the various sources, different pipelines, to work on different organizations, etc. So you can take a look at this uh, Swagger URL. I'll be posting on the description of this video. Thank you for watching the Knowledge Share series.